Hi Scorpio, welcome back. We are doing a three card, three month, three predictions. Um, so each card represents each month. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for May, June, and July of 2023. Scorpio, first card for the month of May is the Strength card. Scorpio for the month of June, 2023, Six of Cups. Scorpio for the month of July, 2023, one card. Scorpio for the month of July, 2023. Ooh, okay, this one flipped first. We have two of Pentacles coming out with, um, wow, the Page of Cups. Okay, we have the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is going to be um, the energy for the next three months. Main energy for you, Scorpio, over the next three months is the Four of Swords energy. Um, so you could be very quiet in the next three months. Very secret, I'm hearing. <laughs> yeah, um, you're not saying nothing. Ooh. And you're being, like, um, mysterious. But that's your energy anyway. But it's just fun to see it, right? It's So that's where you're going to be in the next three months yourself you're going to be very quiet and um you know just not talking to people whatever new beginning you're doing you're not saying it okay you're not even going to tell no one i feel like you feel like you don't have to it's like that's my business that's what you're saying so with the four of swords yeah you're just going to be quiet you could be sleeping a lot in the next three months just a lot of time to yourself spending a lot of time to yourself meditating um, I don't know why I'm getting cooking. You could be more at home. Scorpio, you're just going to be like a homebody for the next three months, mostly, okay? Or you're just going to be catching up on your rest, getting a, a lot of sleep. Some of you guys could be healing from a third party or like um, healing from a broken heart. Three of Swords is here. Um, some of you guys, like I said, could be meditating or praying in the next three months. Some of you guys could be finding a religion as well. I don't know why. Mm, two, two, two on the clock. Something's going on definitely at night, Scorpio, with your body at night. You guys could also be having dreams. Um, could be dreaming a lot. Could be sleeping a lot. Something like that. You're not talking much to people and stuff. And you're definitely not letting people know your next move or anything. Okay, in the next three months. First card we have is um, Strength card. Scorpio, so you are very strong in the month of May. Definitely um, carrying Leo's energy right now. Um, very strong, very courageous, go-getter. You're going after what you want. And I just feel it's very attractive. Um, you're going after what you want and then you're not bagging down and you could care less what anyone is thinking or saying. Yeah, you know how to tame the beast. So with the strength card, that's what I'm saying. You could that's what I'm saying too. You could be resting, regaining your strength or something. Someone could also have been sick. Three 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 on the clock. They could be, you know, resting, regaining strength. Someone could also be praying, trying to recover. So if someone was sick, okay, if you're an, a Scorpio or someone you know, because you could be a Scorpio, but then you could also know another Scorpio. If, it's, if there's a Scorpio you know, or you're a Scorpio, and you're sick, or you're not feeling too well in the next three months or something, take it as apply. This doesn't resonate with everyone. You're definitely going to gain, regain your strength back, okay? You're going to make it through whatever sickness or whatever obstacle or challenge this is, okay? Definitely with the strength card there in May. You're very strong. So whatever happens to you in May, the month of May, you're getting through it with ease. In the month of June, Six of Cups, someone is from your past is reminiscing about you. They miss you greatly. They miss you deeply. I feel like all they can do is just think about you. They do want to talk to you, but I do see that you are silent in the month of June or just not communicating with someone from your past. 444 on the clock. You're definitely, um, I feel you could be moving away from the past. I feel like this person that was in your past is still stuck on you in the past and from the past. 
they really liked you they really loved you and i just feel they cannot get over you i feel like they all they do is think about you and um they could be a scorpio or a water energy pisces cancer scorpio but i'm feeling a strong scorpio from this energy here with the six of cups um a lot of history together and stuff this person's missing you and they wish you know they're thinking about how things used to be they wish they could be with you now and they just miss you dearly and um um yeah i'm hearing you gotta respect it or something it's like you know it's like they can't help themselves they they still love you they still like you they still adore you you're still the center of their heart they're saying that they're you know you're all they think about this past person is very stuck on you, um, Scorpio, in the month of June 2023. So that's the energy this year. If someone from your past in June is going to be stuck on you, they're just going to think about you really hard in the month of June. So much that it came up, okay, in your read. Last one for the month of July, Scorpio. You have the Two of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Coming out with the page of um, cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone wants to communicate with you. Again, um, same energy. This past person now, I feel, making their way back into your life in July. So take it as applied. Not every Scorpio is going to have someone come back in their life in July. But someone's coming back or they're making plans to come back. Because they can't get you off of their mind. Someone is, you know, they may have been juggling. They want to come in and talk about that, okay? So in the month of July, Scorpio, someone is of a water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Vir Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Earth energy. They also could be air. Don't have to be, though. But they could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone you're not talking to at the moment definitely wants to come back in. They're going to try to make themselves known to you in the month of July 2023. They want to come back in and apologize for juggling something. Whether they were juggling you or they were juggling work. Whatever it was, they did not make you the, the main priority. They're sorry about that. They want to make you number one. Okay, they don't ever want you to be to feel like you're on the back seat again or somewhere on the shelf way in the back. They don't ever want you to feel like that. So you, you're going to hear them talk to you whenever they do talk to you. You know, they're going to talk to you along these lines as in, I'm sorry for juggling you. I'm sorry for not making you first, not caring about you, not, you know, not um, being sympathetic to how you feel. Okay, because I do see that they could have put other things, people, places, and things before you. And that's why this ended. That's why you moved on. Okay, but this past person definitely expect apology in the month of um, July, Scorpio, from this person. Okay, this person, like I said before, it could be uh, earth, water, or air coming back in. They're sorry for what they did. They did not mean to do it. They, um, someone could have had two jobs or worked a lot. They could have been a workaholic for some of you guys, Scorpios, for others with this two of pentacles. Someone could have juggled another person, all right? Because we had three of swords here. Someone could be healing from a broken heart. Take it as a apply, all right? It's not for everyone, but that's what's going on. This is what they want to talk about when they come back in. And then they want to apologize and they want to start small with you, okay? They don't want to, um you know take things too fast they want to move very slowly so that's all i have for you scorpio until next time take care